All right, people, welcome back. Uh, good to have you here. It's episode number, what are we on now? I think it's 25. I think we, we have come around the, uh, the quarter century mark here. I doubt we're going to get anywhere near that with this game. But, you know, I'm after spending some time last episode and in previous episodes just doing a little free roaming out there, um, there's actually much more to this game than I initially anticipated. So anyway, what do we do? Well, we worked this black alley. We worked it dry. We worked it clean, goddammit. And uh, I was really pleased and and just... I, I don't know, I really enjoyed last episode getting to put all my tools to work, to use. Got to use the scalpel for the first time. They do call me Dr. Shen, yes. And I got the wire cutters. I think the wire cutters, I think what they did was they opened that one door to the stash. And of course, uh, I'm consistently putting the wrench to use. But anyway, let's move on. That's enough lingering. I'm pretty sure, like I said, we've completely cleaned this, uh, we've completely depleted of all its stash, all its loot, and, uh, I'm seeing, well, maybe I should do one quick check up here, this upper level. I think I may exit the area. I did see a little point over there. But we'll see. If there's any more loot, I think I probably... What is this? Oh. First, <laughs> first floor to be... I don't know, what's that say? First floor to be let. Oh. Alright, we have some graven. We'll give the watch a taste of their own law tonight, brother. <laughs> oh strength and numbers. A taste of his own progress. I don't know why they'd be harassing old Gary. You know, I'm, I'm I really wish Orion would do something about that. <laughs> There's the, look at this guy. He's been put down. He's been put out of his uh Well, I wouldn't say out of his misery, he's just been put down, yes. I don't know if he was living living a miserable life or not. Anyway, did the Graven go about their business? I think they did. What are did. you doing out here? What? Waiting for a storm that'll wash all this away. Are they talking to me? Oh, we got a ladder right there. I don't think that's going to do much for me, though. Unless there's something right on that sign. But, uh, you know what? I, I think I should move on. And the other thing we did last episode was uh, grab that plaque off the obelisk. And actually found a switch underneath. Which is uh, probably going to be... One of the bait and switches, and I would imagine that I'm going to have to trigger all of them. I think it didn't do anything, but I think uh, collectively um, they will. They'll trigger something. I'm not sure what. <laughs> well, you got to imagine that once I get them all pressed, it's going to open up some passageway to some spectacular loot somewhere in this game. But anyway, cautiously we, we press on. I don't know if I'm going to just free roam it again. You know, I'm, I'm kind of... Uh, oh, what is this? Little barricade. I wonder if I can sneak my way through. Yeah, and I can. But uh, I'm wondering if... What was I going to say? I think I lost my train of thought. Well, it's probably for the best. Good lord. <laughs> anyway, they're, I'm telling you, there better... There's, oh, there is. Of course there is. Another beam right in the middle of this goddamn thing. Completely out of place. You know, I, I want it to be like a corpse one time. Or like a, a, a pig on a hook. You know, something. Something different. Something that fits the scene. There's no reason for it. What is this here? There's no reason for a beam to be in the middle of these crates. Well, no. No, there isn't. There isn't. What is this? Now, is this the way that I came? I'm pretty sure I came through there. Where is this? Maybe a side quest. Chapter 1, Lockdown. Um, no. I don't want to replay it. So, I'm all the way back to the start. What the hell was Chapter 1? What the hell was Lockdown? Was that the, uh, ooh. What is this? Yeah. Oh, I don't even remember this. Um, is it, did I, did I enter the city from here? Was this where, what was lockdown? Was that the jewelry shop? I'm not even certain at this point. It's been so long. I'm sure, well, maybe one of you, one of you out there remembers. Maybe you'll clarify that in a comment for me. I can't remember what lockdown was. Anyway, you gotta know that uh, I, I never came in here. I didn't have the wrench when I first entered this area. So here we go. Or was lockdown the foundry? I can't even remember. You gotta know there's gonna be something in here. Something tucked away in one of these, one of these urns, perhaps. Nothing. All right. Well, there's got to be something. I'll tell you that right now. That you know, you, they don't, they don't lead you through a vent, through one of those wrench, needing grates, you know, and then not give you nothing. Oh, here we go. You know, that, there it is. There it is. Now, how am I gonna get up there? I think I can probably, Hope I probably. Catch the gloom. There we go. Shazam! Fantastic. Oh. Gotta work the vertical in this game. Or you have to be aware of it, you know? Oh, there we go. Hello, daddy! 
Got a little bust. Another one of these Baron busts. Or is there gonna be somebody different? No, it's the Baron's bust one more time. He is a busty. A busty fellow. Yes. Where's a, where's a man's ear? Yes, he does. Where's a man's ear? He does. Alright, so there we go. Is that it? 60 gold and a poppy. Well, 60 gold, but a Baron's bust worth a 60 gold. And, uh, and, and a poppy. So that's not too bad, you know. I was hoping for a little bit more. I guess that'll do... Oh, no, that's a crate. I saw the little ring sitting there, the iron ring, and the... Maybe it was a drawer. All right, let me make this drop. There we go. Somebody's doing some serious whistling. Garrett, is that you again, sir? What I tell you about the whistling? Cut it out! All right, here we go. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm losing it. <laughs> For anybody that returns daily <laughs> to watch my videos, I'm sure you're well aware of that fact. Anyway, what are we spilling out into here? All right. Bit of a guard presence down there. So we're in an area of the city... Which the Graven have yet to actually gain control of. Yeah. We're dealing with guards out here. Okay. Alright, what do we have up here? You see I have no access. Somebody boarded that up. Somebody getting a little wise over there. One of these guards, quite smart, quite intelligent. I'm seeing what looks like a little shiny. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Right there. Smack dead center of the screen. A little cup up there. So I would imagine I'm going to have to get up there. Around the other side. Oh, you know what? You know what I think this is? Yes, it is. It's that corner of the street that I was on when I found that collectible right over there. There's a little lockbox on that crate as well. Can I get up here? That I, I had never opened. Let me try. Get up there, Garrett. Quietly now, sir. Alright, there we go. Anything else? Doesn't really look like it. Two gold. Oh, what is this? Oh, a little coin purse as well. 20 gold! Spectacular. That was well concealed. Well concealed. Not so well concealed that old junior thief in training Garrett Hurts couldn't find it. Good lord. You can smell the river from here. Again, that's Garrett, people. You should be getting used to that scent. He's been all over this city. <laughs> He's making it his own. Alright, now, what am I going to do here? As you can see, did I mention that little lockbox? I never ended up unlocking it. I thought for I sure I was going to get busted. Um, there is a one hell of a guard presence. We've got two crossbowmen. Alright, we've got a rope up here. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to be wandering that, that little catwalk, though. But it looks like I can get onto that catwalk from somewhere. Probably from back up the road. Could have, could have grabbed onto the rope and then jumped over there. Now, I do remember that there's a little vent, a little grate, that I needed a wrench to open, to unlock, that is uh, down that little alleyway right over there. Well, I think I'm going to have to pull out a distraction device here, gentlemen. I think that's the way to do it. Now, the question is, the question I pose to all of you is, who do I distract, and at what point? You know? I'm going to try and get down there. I could try and slip back there. I don't know, though. I'm starving. Okay, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for the crossbowman to go back down the, the road. And then I'll distract that guard. P perhaps send him the other way. I'm not really sure. What happened to the sloop sellers? Alright, let's try it. Get down there, Garrett. Oh, he's got to put the thing away first. All right, that's fine. Wish there was a snoop stall nearby. Let's try it. I just hear something. I'm fairly sure I heard it as well. Hustle, Garrett. Oh no. Someone there? Oh, you're beat. You're beat, Garrett. You better hustle, sir. You better hustle. Find some high ground somewhere. Oh no, you're- what are you stuck here? Got nowhere to go. No! Food it up, Garrett. Food it up, sir. So just try and move into the, the other portion of the city. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Look at this guy. Huh? Huh, he says. Alright, let's disappear down this end of the city. Or this end of the street. And try and lose them in some shadows here somewhere. Do I have- access upwards. Yes, I do have access on the vertical here. I'm quite pleased. I'm quite pleased. Move it, sir. Move it. 
Oh, you're hurting. Get some more food in. Oh, they've spotted me yet again. Get up there, Garrett. Now, now they're done. Now they're done. There's no way. There's no way. They're, you, eventually, they're gonna they're gonna go about their business. Yes. And then I'll have better access to that little uh, that little alleyway. But you know they're gonna be on edge at this point. God damn! I really buggered that up, didn't I? That was tense. I, and I burned off my my uh, my distraction device. It depleted. What? I think I ate two packs of Twinkies. God damn it, Garrett! Not impressed, sir. After such a great performance there in the black alley. There's nobody here. <laughs> All right, now how am I going to do this? I've been over here before. Now I've been in this area before, but I don't know what Maybe exactly I. Uh, oh, that's a that's a crate right there. Look at that. I'm nothing to you. Nothing. Well, maybe it isn't. Maybe it is. I think somebody's actually spotting me here. Back to starvation. <laughs> Back to starvation, he says. God damn. It's a pretty, pretty harsh existence here in the city. All right, I think there's a guard right below me. No, it was. Uh, I don't know what he is exactly. We got a bucket right here. I could knock that down. Maybe cause a bit of a disturbance. Harry friggin' bells. I don't like this. Harry friggin' bells. Good lord. All right, now how am I supposed to get over to the... Oh, you see it right there? Do you see it? Now, I remember this. I remember checking that out and wondering how I was supposed to get up there. And I actually Use see and get it over the location it. for the rope arrow. Okay. That's quite nice. Looks like things have calmed down out there. Good lord, did I ever cause a, a big... A big kerfuffle out there. Is that the right word? I don't know. A big kerfuffle. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have a clue. Spitting out gibberish that, uh, that resembles words. Yes. Welcome to Whitehurst Games. All right. Well, you know what? I might as well. I've got the goddamn things. I might as well use them. Maybe I. You know, I need to. I'm on the hunt for food now at this point as well. Oh, that's so nice. I love it. I love it. I love working the vertical when you find a, a location for a. Uh, a rope arrow. There's something satisfying, people. Something I, I quite, I'm quite, i quite pleased with. You know, I quite enjoy about that. Get in there, Garrett, quickly, before somebody spots you. Oh, oh, look at this big old bear. In a bear rug. And he's got a statue of a bear. And uh, I think this is perhaps... You know, we were in the taxidermist office. In <laughs> the last, last episode. I think we have stumbled across his residence, you know. Oh my god, look at all the loot in here. Look at it all. What is this here? A little book. Tear-soaked diary. Oh, good lord. Oh, tear-soaked diary. I can't do it. I can't stop thinking about her. Her hair, her hands, her face, her smile. I can't. I have to stop thinking about her or I will go mad. I, but I can't forgive her or it will be like she never existed. Please. There has to be something more than this. We're going into, uh, we're going into William Shatner style here. Something has to stop. Something. Something has to end. This torment, please. <laughs> what more can I do? I don't know. I don't know what that's all about. Nothing. Just setting the mood. Uh, this man was obviously distraught. He true. found comfort in his in his creatures, his animals, his bears, his stuffed bears, which had his stuffed deers. Oh my God. Oh, he's got the axe out as well. Not good. Not a good sign. Garrett, don't get busted in here. Silver magnifying glass for ten gold. We have a little ashtray by the looks of things. New document break in. Well, I might as well take take the time to read it. The thief taker, the, the sorry, the thief taker general reported a break in some days ago at the Vale Street Iron Works. Oh, we were there, weren't we? We was that the foundry? I'm not sure. Currently used as a depository for those taken by the gloom. Yes, yes, it is. By a nefarious man in black that had left the city poor by several lives. Well, oh my, I don't remember killing anybody there, but uh, oh well. Can nothing be sacred? The enraged champion of the watch lamented. He continued for several more minutes, but the poetry of his words betrayed an underlying disquiet. Keep an eye on the rooftops, he said eventually. We will find this thief, and he will hang. What a truly inspiring sentiment to hear from so great a protector of the city's virtue. Good lord. And I love the spin that the tick was putting on this, you know. If anything, he was, did he not kill somebody? I think he killed a man there, didn't he? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But uh, we we didn't we didn't take we didn't spill blood when we were at the foundry, spreading lies, trying to turn the public against us. Good lord! All right, so what am I doing here now? Where I came in from right there. All right, this is nice, you know, because that may give me access to that one balcony 
What? Oh, this is locked. <coughs> Who's coughing? Is there a guy in here? Maybe, maybe he's locked in, inside the balcony or inside the uh, the cabinet here. <laughs> it's a little person. Lord of a dwarf. <laughs> God damn it! Sorry, people. Sorry. I I was hoping I had left that behind with Far Cry. Yes. I guess not. Oh, it was a picture frame, but somebody took the photo of a dwarf, the naked photo of a dwarf, out of it. God damn it. Alright, look at all these tools. Oh. Oh, sticking, sticking it to the rat's good, isn't he? He's got the little mallet out there. He's got the axe around the corner. My god, this is a creepy joint. You know, you gotta figure there's something to do with this bear. You know? Yeah, a little switch. Tickle his fang. I don't know. That's what she said. Good lord. Did she? Did she say that? Oh, we have a chest right here. We have a chest, people. It's a, it's a pickable one. It's gonna be something good in here. Gonna be some good loot. Come on, Garrett. All right, so not a great start to this sector of the city. We were running for our lives, but things have turned around. We found a little sanctuary in this. Oh, this evil den of death with all these uh, stuffed animals. Gazing upon me. Wondering where they went wrong. Oh, he's got more in here. Look at this. Ugh. 15. Oh, we got food, though. Garrett, I don't know if you should be eating them Twinkies, sir. You got dead birds stashed alongside it. Good lord. All right, I think that's, prob I think that's probably it. Cleaning out gutter shite. You guys seeing the switch or anything? Anything worth grabbing? Can I get up on the bed? There we go. Ooh, he's got pictures of human skulls. This man is quite demented. Looks like a hip bone. Oh, good lord. Sloop or starvation? What a choice. Well, I don't have anybody starving with all these goddamn animals here. Did I search this? No, surgical scissors. Well, they they do call me it. You know, you know what they call me, gentlemen. I need to sleep. <laughs> they call me Doctor Shen. Yes, I'll make good use of them, of them surgical scissors. All right, I think that's probably it. Hello, bear. Gloom medicine. Okay, I think I'm gonna head out this way and hopefully not get spotted in the process And from here, I'm hoping I can swing around On that one rope could be wrong though Now now how am I supposed to supposed to get way the hell up there? I don't I don't even know If I remember correctly though Oh, there we go I see it. But what is that going to do for me? Oh. Oh, I'm seeing something shiny. Just caught a glimpse of it. Oh, it's right here in front of me. Good lord. I must have a lazy eye. Oh, my depth of perception is all messed up. I don't know. Alright. Alright, well, there we go. We I see a point for a rope arrow right there. And I've only got the, the one left. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, I thought it was going to come right down on me. Good lord, that would have been bad. Broken neck and all. Alright, so there we go. And, uh, <laughs> I've only got the one, the one rope arrow. And, well, let's, let's use it. Might as well put it to use. I'm heading for the siren. I will get there shortly, or eventually. And then... Like that's hurting bad. There we go. <laughs> I'm digging this game. I just, I love having to do stuff like this. Stumbling across it, you know? I love it. Anyway. Keep my eyes peeled here. You know there's gonna be something tucked away in one of these. Get that freaking song out of my head. One of these little spots here. No, maybe not. I could be wrong. I'm hoping that there's a payoff somewhere. What is this over here? <coughs> now how do I get in there? Is what I'm wondering. Can you make that jump, Garrett? Now be careful. We got a crossbowman posted up high over there. Uh, I'm not seeing much of anything in there, really. I'm getting a better look at it. No, it doesn't look. Oh, there is a shiny there. A shiny. What is it? Oh, that's a, that's a collectible. If I've ever seen one. Now, how do I get in there? There's a switch over there on the wall. Huh. Doesn't feel safe. I'm looking for an alternate road in. I'm not seeing much of anything. This is going to have to be the way in, but I'm just not sure how to do it at this point. 
Unless this oh, is tied into the bait and switches. Where will I drink? Or perhaps there's a lever out here that will open it up. Maybe I have to craft some explosives. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. Oh, this would be spectacular if this is going to work. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It, I'll tell you, I'm sporting a little chubby right now. <laughs> no, no, that's an exaggeration. I don't, I don't want to gross anybody out. John Tallow's blacklist. John Tallow's blacklist. Oh, my God. Lady Christina pretended not to see me today. Rigged the wheel of her carriage to crack when she reached his... Oh, he rigged the wheel of her carriage to crack when she reaches the cobbles. Wish I could be there to see her take a spill. Good lord, this John Tallow, he's, uh, he's quite the vengeful, the sinister man here. Wanted to buy a Montanesi painting off Jobin, but he said they're worth more now that that artist's offed himself. I'll take a knife to the bastard's collection before the week's done. I have the Montanesi painting, sir. I have it. I have it. I found it. Up in that one room, yes. I took a knife to it, and now I took the painting. Uh, tried to fence some jewels at Black Furrow, but Rubes said they were too hot. He and Basso are in it against me. I just know it. Basso's got connections. But Rubes on the list, <laughs> alright. So at least he's leaving Basso alone. I have yet to meet this Rube fellow. Perhaps, uh, perhaps Garrett is, is Rube. I don't know. I don't know, but that's... I, I, I don't know, I just... Little things about this game. For those of you that can appreciate it, alongside me... Uh, there's some great satisfaction in this game, and I love these little, these little reads, you know, that really do set the tone in, the, in, a, in a mood, and you, you get a laugh out of it, you know? It's meant to be comical at the same time. Anyway, what do we have here? Oh, it's just some earrings. That's a shame. That's a bloody shame. I thought for sure it was gonna be a collectible. But you know what? This guy doesn't deserve collectibles. You know what? Why? Because he's a spiteful, vengeful individual. That's why. Now, one of these books may be, uh, may be movable. Why am I hearing birds everywhere? You know, I gotta be pushing the 20 as well. I don't think I actually checked the time that I started this. But it's been a, a you know, a minor adventure, this, this episode. Quite a bit going on. Running for our lives. Still stumbling across plenty of little side loot. I'm quite pleased with that. Alright, now. Now I need to be careful. I need to wait... For him, you know what I should do is just try and take him out if I can. Oh no, are you shitting me again? Let's see if I can get in here. Quickly now, Garrett. I'm, I'm going to safety, sir. I'm going to safety. Yeah, screw you guys. I'm going home. Screw you guys. I'm going home. There. Whoa. Oh, it's his buddy with his music box. Well, hello again, sir. <laughs> All right. Beautiful. We can do a little buying and selling in here. They're not going to get in here. This is like a little safe area. I love it. Safe haven. But uh, you know what? I think I'm going to wrap it there, guys, because God knows I'm probably pushing the 20. Let me check the time. Yeah, I think uh, I think I probably am, you know. So, uh, thanks for stopping by, tuning in, and checking out this episode. I, you know what, this is fantastic. I get to do a little buying and selling here. I'll be able to grab some, uh, some new rope arrows to resupply. This was a nice find. Uh, I hope you guys didn't mind this episode. You know, it's, uh, it's not all gonna be story-driven. I'm digging just kinda out free roaming right now. I thought it'd be nice to do, have a couple episodes like this, where we're just kinda hunting down side loot throughout the city. And having a good time, you know, running from the guards when need be. Uh, it was a real shame that I came down on that last walkway, uh, with uh, on that last little catwalk, with um, while I was standing. You know, I thought for sure I would end up crouched, giving my position away. But uh, eventually, I'm going to get him up there. I'm going to put him down, clean his clock, put him out, put him, put him to sleep. You know, so that I can eventually get down on the ground and pick that one. Um, pick that one, that one little lockbox safely. But anyway, again, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll thumb it, show some, uh, show some support. And, uh, I hope I'll see you in the next one. But until then, well, remember why it hurts. Later, guys.